Good morning, everybody. It is a Saturday and it is 37 degrees outside. I just decided <clears throat> I want to film a day in my life. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm actually really excited. Oh man, it's so bright out here. <clears throat> I have been contemplating like really back and forth of if I want to uh, stick with cycling or just do the gym and I really like cycling and I really love going to the gym so today I'm going to a spin class at 9 30. I'm really excited for it I haven't been in like <laughs> oh my god I haven't been in like three weeks so I'm a little nervous about how that's gonna play out for me. But you know, I think I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, and then I'm going to go to the gym. The main reason I want to do a spin class in the gym is because I'm really just trying to tone up my body. I'm not trying to like lose a bunch of weight because I mean, I, I mean I'm five one. I mean, I could probably, that's annoying too. I could probably stand to lose a few but then my sister and I were talking and she was like, don't lose any more weight because then your head will look too big on your neck. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to stick it out with what I've got. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with that. I'm not going to spin in the cycle studio because I don't like carrying my phone with me in there. And then I might <clears throat> film a little bit in the gym just because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to do arms today full body on Friday <clears throat> and then tomorrow will be leg day as well so yeah there's that and then I have to go to PetSmart later today and then I have to go to Ulta to pick up more body butter because my favorite one is the almond milk and honey that is my absolute favorite like scent I guess <clears throat> and I just ran out this morning which is unfortunate so I'm gonna go pick up that and then I gotta go to Target as well because my family and I were gonna like try to do um, <clears throat> no meat uh, Monday through Friday. So basically we're just gonna eat everything but meat. So I said, okay, so that'll be like a lot of bread because I love bread, um, garlic bread specifically. <clears throat> a lot of oatmeal, a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies, uh, a lot of rice. We eat a lot of rice regardless <clears throat> because that's just like what my family does. So yeah. Um, and then I got to film a little bit today too. So I don't know if I'm going to show you guys any of that just because I mean you'll see it on when I upload it. And I also got to edit a video that I was supposed to upload on Friday but I didn't. I don't know why.
there's that. And this part that I'm driving through is like, it's known for really bad traffic. I really don't know why. <laughs> Actually, I think I know why. It's because there's this exit right here where like I shit up a bunch of people just I'm not turning there. I'm turning here. And I make little songs out of things that I'm doing. I'm gonna pop right here. And I'm gonna straighten out. <laughs> I'm 
into my spin class. I will see you guys afterwards. So why are you beeping at me? Just kidding. That was intense. This is what I get for not going for three weeks. But I had a reason. Because I didn't have money to do the classes. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to the gym. But no more. I know I touched base a little bit in one of my previous videos about what cycle bar is. And if you've heard of still cycle, then you basically know what cycle bar is. Cycle bar is a rhythmic based cycle class. It's essentially high intensity for 45 minutes straight. Um, we go into heavy gears, uh, like literally climbing up hills. And then we do sprints, downhills, um, coasting. So, I mean, it's really good. It gets your heart rate up. So far, I've burnt 458 calories, and it's not even 10, 1030. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, Gilly. Yes, I'm Gilly. But it's actually really good. We don't just literally cycle the whole time. They'll have us do ab workouts, um, triceps, like dips. Um, they'll have us really really work our glutes which uh, helps <laughs> whenever we go into heavier gears I'm not going to this gym I'm going to the one closer to my house yeah. it's a good workout my face gets really splotchy because I have acne scars and it's honestly it's not cute <laughs> so yeah my face is really odd yeah, I'm gonna work on arms because that is my weak point. And then tomorrow on Sunday, I'm going to focus on legs after cycle bar. So I don't know, do I want to, uh, I didn't bring a lot for the gym. Got a lot of dilemmas going on. So yeah, I think I'm gonna film just a little bit at the gym, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. They have, at the one that I'm planning to go to, they have um, the infinity rope. So I think I'm gonna do that today. Cause that's a workout in itself. And then I don't know if I wanna warm up on the treadmill cause that's usually what I do. But since I just did 45 minutes of cycling, I think that'd be a new point. But I might just do like 10 minutes because I'm driving like 30 minutes to get there. And you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. Okay, so 
I did not record any of my workout because I forgot how busy the gym is at like 10.30. And that's the time I went, so. I rewarmed up on the treadmill, so I did 10 minutes on the treadmill at like, I think like a 3.2 speed. I don't even know. And then I did a lot of lat works today. I did do the infinity rope and then I finished it off with an ab blasting workout because I needed that and I love the feel of sore abs the next day so that's what I did a lot of geeseys is anyone else obsessed with geese or is it just me I'm like it's, it's bad I'm really obsessed with them I just love them so yeah now I'm gonna go home out what I'm gonna eat because it's lunchtime and yeah so I might just shower and then eat yeah so I'm gonna shower eat probably do chick-fil-a like I always do on Saturdays and yeah I will catch you guys in a little bit can I put the lotion on if so, that's unfortunate. Look at that nose highlight. What? So, it is now 5.12. So, I'm just going to say just after 5. And the last time I talked to you guys, it was just before noon. Yes. Maybe so. You know. Oh, hey, golden hour. We love you. <laughs> cool. So, I am running to PetSmart. Because my cat, the last, um, like there's two weekends in January, ugh, she, she's very skittish. She was adopted from the shelter, 26, I got her when we were like 13, 14 years ago. And I'm not sure if cats get PTSD or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure she has PTSD. Um, she's about 16 years old. And she does not like noise. Like, well, she likes noise, but she doesn't like loud noise. So, there were two weekends. My dad came home from uh, riding his bike. And he's exceptionally, exceptionally noisy when he gets home. Like, I'm talking, you can hear him over music. That's how loud he is. And my cat, she doesn't like noise. So, when she, get, she got nervous or scared, she peed on my bed. She peed on my bed twice in, uh, on two weekends one we can ride at the other and I was so frustrated so luckily I had mattress protectors on both times so that saved my mattress and my mattress topper all I had to do was get the new mattress pad so the second time she did it I got like another little spread to put underneath so I got that and on top of that I put another mattress protector so that's like a double protection and I also had gotten um, some Febreze fabric spray. So I spray that every single morning just to try to, because I think the last time she did it was because she still smelled her, the ammonia smell from her pee. So that was what had happened. So I had gone on to a Facebook group and I was like, has anyone had this problem? My cat had peed on my bed twice in one week. I have no idea what to do. I'm like, I'm, I'm at the end of the line. I have no idea what to do for her. And uh, some people suggested taking her to the vet, which I had already done like the first time she peed on my bed and I got her tested for UTI and they didn't find anything. They just said it was possibly old age. And so I was like, okay, fine, old age. So I can only keep my door closed for so long. I had been keeping it closed because I didn't want anything like to happen in my room. So there was one weekend I left it open and she peed in there a second time and that was like, I was full-blown in tears. I was frustrated. I didn't know what to do. So someone had suggested on a Facebook group to try um, like CBD oil or CBD spray. Someone even suggested a stress collar and I was like, hmm, what is a stress collar? Because I think she gets under stress and that's why she pees on my bed. So I was like, you know, I'm going to try it. I found it at PetSmart and it has been a month since she's had the stress collar on and holy night and day. I see her more and more now. I mean, I see her a lot regardless because she's always in my room. 
but she definitely comes around my family more. And they're like, oh. I said, yes, it's a stress collar. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to PetSmart to pick up a three pack. I picked up a one pack because I was like just trying to feel it out. And so yeah, I'm doing that. Picking up a stress collar for my kitty cat. <laughs> Spending a lot of money on her, but you know, anything to help me and help her just succeed in life is what I'm gonna try and do. And then at Target, I'm going to pick up some snacks because I believe we're starting the no meat thing Monday. I really need to get a car mount. <laughs> so we're starting that Monday. I need to like stock up on oatmeal, um, like granola bars, fruit snacks, chips, popcorn, you know, the essentials. Beauty, you're staying in your lane. Literally, you're staying in your lane. So you want to do that. And I'm also going to look at like some workout tops because I've been wearing the same workout tops over and over again and I'm getting sick of it. I know people at the gym are probably getting sick of it. They're like, dang, I don't have any other clothes. Yes, I do. I have other clothes to wear. I just not really fond of those. So I'm going to look at the Target um, workout clothes. I'm not really fond of them, but it is what it is. I don't really feel like spending a butt ton of money today. But it's Target. And then, um, they also have, I hope they have the Lenny and Larry cookies, because I like eating those before I work out. I eat half because they are huge, like almost the size of my head, huge. So I'm gonna look for those. And, yeah, I think that is it. Um, I might take you guys a little bit around Target for some shopping, just to, uh, to Target and I'm also going to show you guys the stress collars in PetSmart just so if you have pets and they're a little stressed out well cats then you can also try those out so yeah I will see you guys in a little bit the goods I'll have to show you guys what I got but I'm going to pick up my dad so we can go and get some Panera yeah 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 <laughs> um yeah everything I got was pretty good I spent like an even hundred dollars at Target which is unheard of for me so I usually go overboard but I didn't today yeah so it's good it's good you'll like it I just gotta say my makeup looks phenomenal today. The foundation I used was, was the Physicians Formula Healthy Skin. Is that what it's called? The Healthy Skin Formula Foundation. I gotta say, it's, I love it. I've used it before, but I went in with a lot of products that I hadn't used in a while. And I also went with some new ones. Actually, the main one that I haven't used in a while was the foundation, and that was like my main tester. Please tell me that's still okay. Making sure that Starbucks is still there. So I feel like I'm growing up. <laughs> Anytime I would go to Panera, I would literally just get macaroni and cheese, which I mean, come on, you cannot knock their macaroni and cheese. It is bomb. 
it's good. So I got the bacon turkey bravo sandwich. I don't know if you guys have had it, but it is super good. They have like the McDonald's equivalent of the secret sauce. <laughs> so yeah, it's good. You guys should try it. I liked it. I'm a picky eater. So yeah, that is just saying something. So yeah, I'm not going to turn on a light in my car. So I'm just going to head out and get some food and then I will show you guys what I got. Later. This hair is atrocious. Ooh, the highlight is still popping. So I got some snacks because you guys know I'm doing like the no meat thing for Monday through Friday. So I got my chewies. I don't know where to put everything. <laughs> got some oatmeal. And I got some fruit pouches. Yeah. And I got some Boom Chicka Pop, the salted one, and then the sweet and salty. And then I got the Special K protein. I used to eat these all the time in high school. I got more tea because I have none. And I like to drink a cup every morning or a mug, whichever you want to say. I bought more Lenny and Larry's. I bought a selfie light just because, you know, I just wanted to try it out. You know. For shits and gigs, what they say. I bought a pajama shirt. It's rise and shine. Just, you know, I want to try something out. I usually wear baggy t-shirts. Um, I'm obsessed with poetry. I know my high school teachers and middle school teachers would be like, no, she's not. She's terrible. <laughs> But I love poetry. I love the words that authors create and how sometimes they can move you to tears. I just love it. So I've recently been obsessed with Robert M. Drake. He's also known as Arm Drake on Instagram. And he collabed with R.H. Sin. Can you believe that? Like, yes, yes, yes. I got that. I'm excited to read that. I have more of their books upstairs along with Samantha King. I also have the Pillow Talks, Pillow Thoughts books upstairs. I also have, I have a lot more upstairs, so I will show you guys those. And then I randomly picked up some <laughs> work pants. These ones are from the brand A New Day, and these have a nice elastic up top. And I have like a hit or miss with these kind of pants. Um, the last pair I bought was from Plato's Closet, and that was H&M, and they were size four. I was like, okay, I'm not big, but I'm not like... Ugh, I'm not like super tiny, so I figured a four would be fine. No, they fit the first day, but then the other times I couldn't even like zip them up. So then I got a six. No, it was I got a six the first time because that's my original size. And like the zipper would just always fall down. So then I got another pair um, from H&M. And I guess my thighs are too big for the pants because they like split in the seams in the inner thigh. I'm like, I can't win. So I'm gonna have to get rid of those. So hopefully these ones work perfectly. Um, yeah, no, I'm a little iffy because I hate pants with buttons and zippers, which is why I'm always in leggings or sweatpants every time I'm home. I hate being in jeans and business casual clothes. So yeah, I'm waiting for my dad and then we're gonna go get some food. So yeah, catch you guys in a little bit so that I can show you guys the books upstairs. Hey guys, it is the next day. I feel like I spaced out because I forgot to show you guys the calming collars. This is the one that I get for my cat. It's the Century Calming Collar for cats. And she actually just had an accident and I think it's because the, um, whatever it is that's infused with the collar had run out. So that's why she did it. So I just put a new one on her this morning. So hopefully that one will work. This is a three pack. It was about $50. And the um, single collar is about $15. I want to say I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's really good. It works up for 30. It works up to 30 days. And it's a lavender and chamomile fragrance. And yeah, it really works for her. I just have to make sure that I change it every 30 days. Otherwise, she's going to freak out. So yep. That's what I wanted to pop on here and say, and let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, as promised, I am going to show you guys all of the books from like Instagram poets that I have. I have all of the R.H. Sin 
um, Whiskey Words and a Shovel Volume 1, 2, and 3. <sighs> have I read these all yet? No, I have not. What else do I have? I have um, The Sun in Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. I don't know how to say her last name. Sorry. Um, I have two more. Nope. I have this one from R.H. Sin. This is Planting Gardens and Graves, Volume 1. I have another one from Rupee, Milk and Honey. Let me see what else we got. I have Pillow Thoughts um, <laughs> 1. I have little tabbies in here because I want to eventually use these as Instagram quotes. Call me basic, but that's just what I want to do. So, yeah, I have started this, but I have not gotten to finish that. Then I have Pillow Thoughts 2 by Courtney Peppernell. I have the Love Her and Leave Love Her Wild. These are Atticus poems. Stay. I have The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. But I'm just like so extra. I have I Am Her Tribe by Daniel Doby. This one is completely filled with tabs. This one was a really good one. I actually read this whole thing. Some of these really got to me. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, 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 and whoa. I have To Make Monsters Out of Girls by Amanda Lovelace again. This one I started tabbing. As you can see, I got like halfway through and I finally found one that I really loved. I have this one by R.H. Sin. It's She Felt Like Feeling Nothing. This one, I feel like this one's going to tear me up. Born to Love, Cursed to Feel by Samantha King. And then my latest acquirement is The Empty Bottles Full of Stories by Robert M. Drake. This is the collab, say you will, with R.H. Sin. And I'm excited to read that one. So, yeah. I'm waiting for my selfie light to charge, so I'm going to try that out um, in a little bit. But now I'm going to clean up my room, put some clothes away, and I have got like a whole situation going on right there that I have no idea what to do about. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and then I've got to clean up, put all my makeup away, so I might take you guys along for that ride. What is up with that? But yeah, I don't know. We didn't end up going to Panera, because my dad's not really a big fan of Panera. I don't know why. I love Panera. But we ended up going to Zaxby's, so I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, guess I'll catch you guys in a bit. You like to run free, but I I'll change my routine if you hold my hand. Cause all the shades of blue go away when I'm with you. Put a golden frame around my heart. Cause you may.
that is it from me for today. Thank you for following me around. Hope you guys enjoyed all that I did. I'm going to put the rest of the stuff away and read before I go to bed. And I've got another cycle class in the morning, so I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.